Hey, what's up? John Sonomez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question about how do I know if CS, computer science, is the right major for me? And this question comes from Jay, who helped me pronounce his name by saying Jay. I think I got that one, Jay. Uh, and he says, uh, I'm a high school senior who is enrolled for CS with computer systems at a uni. I took AP computer science during my freshman year and thought it was fun and cool. However, I have been struggling a lot in programming recently and I am worried that I am not good enough for CS. I'm also struggling with calculus, uh, BC, and AP physics C. Is CS right for me? How do I know? He's got a little bit of additional info, info here. He said, I just finished up my season of robotics club, which I have participated in for the past three years. I've been struggling with writing autonomous code for my robot, and my teammates tell me I shouldn't go into CS. What the? F <laughs> That's some good teammates telling you that. That's, uh, yeah. Moreover, a teacher in eighth grade told me not to go into STEM because I have a social personality, and I'm better suited for things like social work, education, etc. which, by the way, I would puke if I had to do as a career. Okay, um, I feel like I'm overloaded with information and stress and need guidance. Thanks a lot. All right, so I'll try to give you some help here. J. I almost forgot your name, and then I realized it was just the letter J. So, I don't know how to put this. Decide to say fuck them. Like, fuck all of them. Like, don't listen to any of them. Do what you want to do, bro. Do what you want to do. Like, no one, they're not going to live your life, okay? They're not going to deal with the consequences of your life, right? Don't become a social worker because, because some stupid eighth grade teacher. I mean, what is an eighth grade teacher? I, I don't mean to like be offensive or to knock teachers. Teachers are great, but honestly, like, what is that person really doing with their life, right? This is the person that's that's going to give you the life advice. I mean, you're you're bound for greater things than this, my friend. Okay, at least you should be. You should have this in your mindset. So don't listen to them. You'll end up as an eighth grade teacher. Do you want to end up as an eighth grade teacher? I'm not saying, I mean, maybe that's your dream. That's fine. And some people, that's their dream. But I, I don't think that's what you want, right? You see what I'm saying? So don't listen to them. Don't listen to your teammates on your robotics team. Don't, you know, again, I'm, I'm not going to say that you shouldn't apply yourself, right? You got to figure out what the problem is, but you got to do what you want to do in life because no one else is going to live your life for you, right? And so what? So what if the, the odds are stacked against you? Great. You know what odds I like? I like when the odds are stacked against me. You know why? Because that gives me the ability to fucking shine, to come through, to really, really pull out all the stops and to really go and expand myself, right? I, I like it when people say, hey, you're being discriminated against. I'm like, yeah, good. I like it. Bring it on. Go ahead. Give me all you got and let me, I'll show you. I'll show you you can't hold me down, right? That's what. That's the attitude you got to have, okay? So, so what? CS is hard for you. Big deal. So what? You're, you're not doing as well as the other people in the class. Then work harder, my friend. Work harder, okay? I've got a, a video that will help you maybe. Uh, the I did a... Uh, a, a motivational sort of trailer for, for this channel, which I think you would find some use in, but you know, watch that, that video. But honestly, like, don't let other people tell you what, what you're gonna do with your life and whether you're good enough or not. Uh, trust me, you, you, CS is bullshit anyway. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you this. As a software developer, you wanna become a software developer? The, the CS classes, yeah, it's, it's good to have that information, but that is not, you're not gonna use calculus, okay? I mean, maybe you'll use some in a rare occasion. I'm not saying that, again, don't, just, don't misunderstand me. If you're gonna do something, do it to your best of your ability. Don't fuck around, okay? Do it to your best ability. But I'm telling you that the, the calculus and the physics, not gonna matter. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Like, just do the best that you can, right? Apply yourself as best as possible, and you know, if you end up not doing great in it, big deal, right? You got to decide what you want to do with your life, what your dreams are, what you want to accomplish, and don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anything stop you or hold you back from doing that. I know it sounds a little cliche, but honestly, like, you're the one who's going to have to live your life at the end of the day, and you're the one who's going to have to be happy with it. And all this bullshit, you know, I actually recommend a good book for you. 
uh, by my buddy MJ DeMarco. It's called Unscripted. It's his latest book. He also wrote a book called Millionaire Fastlane. But I think Unscripted will probably be better for you. Uh, it's a really, really good book. I haven't done a review on it yet. I'm going to be, I'm just finishing it up. But it's a really good book. And it talks about like the script that society has for you and how, you know, you're, you're, you believe all this stuff that people tell you about school and college and education, all this stuff, and it's not true. In the real world, what matters is the value that you bring, okay? And you can bring that value if if you are willing to to go and work for it and you're willing to deliver it, right? So so you've got to figure out what you want to do and don't let anyone stop you or tell you that you're not. It's bullshit when people say that, oh, this isn't, it, it's great that you have a, a social personality. That's great, that's great. That doesn't mean that you have to be a social worker. That means that you could be a superior software developer, right? I wrote a whole, I wrote a book on this called Soft Skills Software Developers Life Manual. You could check out that book. And the reason why I did that and the reason why I'm making this channel, the reason why I'm doing these videos is because I want more software developers to develop the kind of social and soft skills. So you've got an advantage there. So yeah, I wouldn't worry about this at all. Like I said, this is, this is not to get you off the hook, but don't let yourself off the hook. Apply yourself, do the best job that you can, okay? But at the, at the end of the day, don't let any of that discourage you. I mean, you can overcome any challenge, any adversity, and you'll grow stronger in the process. Even if it's two times or three times it's hard for you, that means that you just work two times or three times harder than everyone else, but you can still achieve it. There, there's plenty of people that have had disadvantages in life and disabilities and have been on an unfair playing field and have overcome those to become superior, right? And to surpass people that, that had advantages in life. That what you start with is not what you end with. Okay? Remember that. What you start with is not what you end with. What you build is what you end with. You, 90% of it is the work that you put into it and what you develop. Not the natural talent, not the natural abilities. It's what you put into it. So what you start with is not what you end with. All right, that's all I got for you today. Uh, thanks for the question. That's a good question. And I wish you well. Let me know. Send me an email. Let me know how you're doing. I'm, I'm real curious about that if you watch this video. If you have a question for me, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And make sure you click the subscribe button. Uh, click the bell below so that you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.